Hello, everybody, and welcome to the London School of English live stream. Uh, today, live stream topic is how to learn English with experts and choose your English course well. Uh, this session is specifically designed to help you if you're considering taking English training to achieve your goals, whether that, that's for improving your general or business and professional English, or uh, in case you want to take an English exam. Uh, we know that this always brings lots and lots of questions, and uh, we're here to help. Uh, my name is Olga, Pochibi, uh, Olga and Pochibihina, and uh, I'm part of the London School of English team. Today's session is meant to be very interactive, so don't hesitate uh, to write your comments and questions in the live chat as we go along. In fact, uh, share with us now where you're joining us from today. And uh, is this your first live stream session with us, or have you already been participating in some of the previous sessions? Uh, I can already see that uh, there are people joining us from Italy, Hong Kong, Luxembourg, uh, Algeria, uh, and uh, I'm sure many, many more countries. So uh, do uh, chat with us uh, during this live stream. So um, the main part of uh, today's session uh, will be uh, 30 minutes, and then we'll have questions and answer session uh, at the end. Uh, but you can always contact us after the session on the email, uh, which will be shown on the screen shortly. So let's get started. Uh, I'm delighted to introduce to you uh, two of my wonderful colleagues, uh, Faiza uh, Afzal and Perin Chor, uh, who will help you on how to choose the best English training to suit your uh, individual specific goals. Welcome, Faiza and Perin. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi. So uh, thank you for joining us so much for today's live stream. Um, my name is Olga, and I'll be one of your hosts today. Um, I'm joined by Porine, and we'll introduce her a little bit later. And we both work as part of the client services team here at the London School of English. Um, we support our clients every day with picking out the right English language course and to help them to achieve their language learning goals. Um, a little bit about me before we get started. Uh, I grew up in the Middle East. Um, I've studied in the UK and worked in Canada. And originally, I am from Bangladesh. So I've been at the London School of English now for four years and worked with clients all over the world. Uh, as Olga said, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat today. Otherwise, you can email us at the um, email address below, which is inquiries at londonschool.com. I am very excited today to be co-hosting this live stream with my colleague, Purin. So I'm going to pass it over so she can say hello um, and tell you a bit about herself, Purin. Hello, thank you very much, Faiza. My name is Corinne. Um, I'm originally from France. I've been working for the London School of English for the past three years. And uh, I have also been uh, a language student. So uh, studied in the UK a little bit. I also did an exam course uh, over 10 years ago. And um, my family is from Cambodia and China. Uh, so I have a mixed background. And uh, I really hope that we'll be able to answer some of your questions today. Uh, over to you, Faiza. Perfect. Um, so let's get started. Today's live stream is all about helping you to choose the right English language course um, so that you can achieve your goals. And so we're going to go through a few sections about sort of how do you know uh, who's delivering your training and if they're experts. We'll give you some pointers about questions you should ask yourself when you're thinking about what course to do, um, telling you a little bit about the new kind of virtual formats and then some of the courses that we offer. So first of all, um, an important consideration you should think about is uh, your training should be delivered by experts, but oftentimes it's figuring out, well, how do you know if your English language is, is language training is delivered by experts? So it's important to know who are the experts and kind of when you would need training from an expert or not. So let's define the word expert. Um, an expert is a trainer is someone who is very knowledgeable and skillful in their area of teaching. For this example, because we're gonna be talking about uh, English language training so that we're looking for English language experts. Um, when you're thinking about doing any sort of training, there's different people involved. So the first person involved is you. Um, and you have to take that into consideration. So a lot of that will be around sort of your achievement. Um, it depends on what motivates you to learn. 
the time you're going to put into learning a language, uh, your consistency with learning a language over time. In fact, um, there are lots of studies that show that one of the biggest factors uh, that influence how successful you are at learning is you. And I think we've got a link here for one of those studies if you wanted to take a look at that. So I think you should keep that in mind. But with every part of training, there's you and then there's a trainer. So the next important factor to your success is the teaching. So it's what the teachers know about their subjects, um, what teaching methodology they might use, as well as how they could address your needs. And all of these are required if you're, if you're learning from an expert. So when you're learning English, um, part of it is also, do you need a teacher at all? Um, so again, it depends. You might already be happy with your level of Eng English. You might feel confident in speaking. Um, maybe you want to just study by yourself, by reading and listening um, and speaking at work or at home. Perhaps, you know, you're, it's just a hobby, so you don't have specific goals. So, you know, you might want to dip into learning a little bit. You don't want to put any time pressure on it and just learn once in a while. Or, you know, you're using... Uh, English at work, but you're finding that you're able to communicate. It's it's all okay, and um, you're getting along just fine. So in that case, you know, maybe you don't need a teacher to guide you. But there are, of course, situations where you do want some help, you do want support, you do want somebody um, to guide you through the process. So let's take a look at some of those examples. Um, so perhaps your motivation is you want to grow your career. You want to be able to speak English more confidently in different situations. Uh, maybe you're a student and you'd like to take an exam. You'd like to study abroad. You want to do a bachelor's. You want to do a master's. And you need to improve your English for an exam score. So in those situations, it can very much help to have a teacher to guide you um, because they will show you the most effective way to improve your English. For example, in making presentations, about being understood, um, even understanding native English speakers. So I think there, having an expert teacher will help you to achieve your goal because they can guide you. Um, and it's also, again, if you have a specific time pressure uh, that you're under, they can make sure that you effectively use your time. So if we go back to the example of being a student, you need to take an exam you have a specific exam date, your teacher can work with you to make sure that you, you cover all the areas you need before you take the exam. So we've kind of looked at when you might want to have a teacher with you and when you may uh, not want to have a teacher with you. If you do, then what are some of the important things you can consider in trying to answer that question? Um, are they an expert in English teaching? So here I'm gonna give you three points. Point one, knowledge. Um, so most effective teachers have a deep knowledge of the subjects that they teach. Um, they have a very strong understanding of the materials. Um, they understand how students think about the content. Um, so when you're looking to choose your English school and training, you need to make sure that your teachers possess this knowledge. How, how can you confirm that, you might be asking. So. What we would recommend is you look at independent bodies. So to give you the example, uh, in the English uh, language learning industry, it's the British Council. They are responsible for the accreditation of English schools, and so you'll see their website just there. Um, they regularly inspect schools and measure them on different categories. Um, this includes things like the quality of teaching, uh, the professional profile and qualifications of the teachers, the way the courses are structured, um, looking at progress and reporting as well. So these are all very important when you're trying to look to see, okay, is my training being delivered by an expert? For us, for example, we're very proud to say that all of our centers have achieved perfect scores in our most recent British Council inspection. Um, it's actually the first time uh, any school has, done, had, has had perfect results across all locations, so we're very proud of this achievement. So there's those independent bodies. They can tell you whether or not the school is, is a good quality organization and would have experts. The other part is the qualifications. So the teachers themselves, 
What did they study? What experience do they have? And when you're searching for English language training, the qualification that you are looking for is something called teaching English um, as a foreign language. So TEFL, T-E-F-E-L. There you go. Um, and some of the examples of those qualifications are the CELTA. Um, so that's a certificate in teaching English uh, language to adults. And then there's a CERT TESOL and the Delta is the diploma level. So for many schools, for example, they'll need their trainers to have that qualification in order for them to, to uh, deliver training. For us, for example, um, all of our teachers have the, the CELTA or the CERT TESOL at a minimum, but a lot of our trainers also have the diploma level qualification. Some of our trainers also have specific experience in different sectors. So maybe they've had previous careers in law, in finance, in banking, in journalism. So that's also important too. So we've looked at point one, which is knowledge. Point two is experience. Um, so how, how long have they been teaching English language? For us here at the London School of English, uh, we've been teaching it since 1912. Um, so over a hundred years, which is, which is a very long time and something we're once again, very proud of, um, which means that we, we understand uh, how to deliver training, how it could be effective. And we have a lot of experience um, as a result of that. So, you know, you can be working in any industry. Uh, we have clients that come from banking sector, from hospitality, um, from retail. Uh, maybe they work in the medical profession or the legal profession. So if uh, a school has a lot of experience, then they'll be able to deliver different types of training because their teachers will have interacted um, with clients of, of all different backgrounds. Um, Another example is maybe if you're a student and you're looking, say, for an IELTS course. Um, so many of our, our trainers have had a lot of experience in, delivered, in delivering IELTS exam courses. Um, in fact, uh, a few of them are even IELTS examiners themselves. So that's kind of like the best people um, to learn from because they're the examiners that you're kind of working towards uh, the exam. For, for our trainers, you know, many of them have been teaching English for a very long time. On average, they have over 10 years of experience. Um, so that's all very helpful because it means um, they've worked with many different types of students. They're able to adjust their training. I think another part to look at the experiences is not just what the they'll say about, you know, we've been doing it for this long or these are the, the qualifications that our, our, our teachers have, but it's a lot, it's important to see what the clients say. Um, so there are different independent platforms you can look at. So one of the, the most prominent ones, which I think many of you might have heard of, is something called Trustpilot. Um, so you can see the reviews of, of, of different organizations and companies on Trustpilot. Um, we ourselves have had over a thousand reviews from our clients and uh, very proud to say that we're rated excellent. 98% um, of our clients rate us as great or, or excellent. Um, and they, they certainly quote the quality of teaching that they receive as the most important um, aspect and, and one of the greatest benefits that they receive from us. Um, if I can, I'd, I'd like to give you guys a quick example of one of the reviews. So this is from one of our clients, her name is Sarah. Um, and she said that, you know, I had a, she had a marvelous experience. So she said the lessons were interesting and well-organized. Um, I found them really professional, designed for adults and structured around our learning needs. The teacher was excellent in both explanation and inclusion of all the students. Moreover, we created a very beautiful classroom group where I had a lot of fun. I hope we'll be friends longer. Um, so we've, we've been doing these live streams for a couple of weeks now, and I think one of the loveliest things we've been able to see is so many of our clients sort of come and they join us and they engage, and they also comment about the wonderful experience they had and the friendship they've made and the connections they've been able to have. So it's, it, it's, that, I think, is also important to see, you know, what kind of experience would you be going for? at the school and, and often hearing from other clients is, is a great way. On to the third point. So one of the other things you should keep in mind is something called the methodology. So this is how are you taught? Um, so we all have, I think, had situations in our life where we've been in a big room full of other students and you're taking notes and a teacher's giving a lecture and just kind of speaking a lot. Um, and you're sort of expected to understand everything quite quickly. So, um, 
you know, you, you can feel as though, oh, but I'm not sure about this. Can I clarify? Or you might feel as though, you know, you're just looking through um, pages in a textbook and, and going along. So, you know, that method could work, but it other methods are also very um, effective, the ones that can engage you, the ones that can help you learn. So here at our school, we, we use kind of a learner-centered methodology. And what that means is um, we have small group sizes, usually of about six to eight people. And the trainer really focuses on every client, um, checking to see what they need, um, giving them a lot of time as well, because when you're in such a small group, you can ask and clarify with the trainer. You can speak to your other course participants as well. And it's it's pretty much as close as you can get to one-to-one -to -one in a group environment. So you have the benefit that if there's something you need to work on, the trainer can tell you, but you're also learning together with other people in a small environment. Um, similarly, we don't necessarily work off of a textbook. We adapt the training and say, okay, I'll take, the teachers will take something from one book and take something else from another book because those are the specific things that you need. Um, so it's constantly changing uh, and your trainer will adjust. So maybe you'll pick up a concept quickly and then they're like, okay, let's add and go to a more advanced thing. Or if there's something you need to review or, or to look at or redo, um, then they can they can change it and adjust it to the pace because they're going based on what you need. So all of this can help you to really learn in the time that you have available um, and, and get feedback. And so whether it's trying to like get an IELTS score, whether it's trying to get a job or promotion or just feel more comfortable uh, learning English, uh, all of these things can help with a learner based methodology. Um, so that so that kind of covers the well how do you know if you're getting training from an expert you should look at their knowledge um, you should look at their experience and you should look at their methodology um, now i'm going to pass you guys over to Porine, um, and she's going to take you through figuring out well how do i find the right course for me Porine? thank you very much faiza okay now imagine that you decided that yes now is the time to take an english course to achieve your goals what should you consider when deciding which one to choose? Well, there are many, so many options out there and it may be difficult to know where to start. It's very frequent actually that people ask us for advice. So I really hope that the five following questions can help you in selecting the right course. Um, first question would be, what is your objective? Well, I think it would be best to rephrase it into what is your first or main objective? You may think, I don't use or speak English every day, so it's quite challenging when I need to do small talk or discuss with people who are way more comfortable in English than I am. We could recommend you start with general English first to gain more confidence and improve your communication skills. You will be able to talk about culture, sports, travel, food, history, art, and many other topics from everyday situations. The goal of this course is to help you develop your confidence when you communicate in a social setting about many subjects. Then, if you need English for work because you want to prepare yourself for a networking event or a presentation, a meeting, or you may be looking for a new job and need practical uh, language skills, well, I believe that business and professional English could be a good follow-up course we are creating realistic role plays and possible real life situations so that you can use and apply your new skills right away. Also, if you feel that you could work on your accent or pronunciation to make communication more fluid, or you are interested in working on how well you're using your voice when delivering presentations like this one, or giving talks when we have, uh, well, we have voice and accent training as an option. People from a wide range of professions have taken voice training, such as top executives, politicians, lawyers, sales personnel, consultants, doctors, academics, and call center staff. So you may want to consider this type of course too. If you are preparing for your university application, or if you want to take an official exam course, then I would recommend IELTS exam preparation. During the course, you will focus on all the skills you need for the exam, listening, reading, writing and speaking, as well as vocabulary building, 
grammar practice and pronunciation exercises. We will also help you develop strategies and techniques which will be key when taking the IELTS exam. We also have specialized courses such as legal English for young lawyers and legal English for experienced lawyers who are interested in an international career. Our next legal English course for young, for long, for long, for long, for young lawyers will actually start on June the 29th. So please let us know if this is a good fit for you. Now, the second question you may want to ask, do I need a group course or an individual training? Well, personalized training is also possible in a group environment if you don't work from a textbook. We have a fantastic team of qualified and highly experienced trainers who create customized course content every week for the group they're teaching so that the course they deliver caters to our participants' level and language needs. Individual lessons are valuable if you have very specific requests and need an expert trainer to provide you with the right support in a short amount of time. Also, you can actually combine group courses to benefit from a group dynamic and useful interactions and private training to get the support of a personal trainer. Now, third question, how long should I take the course for? In those uncertain times, we understand that it's not easy, uh, always an easy thing to plan that much ahead. Courses that are flexible enough to start when you are available are obviously the way to go. Our virtual group courses start every Monday and the course you need is one week. You're never missing any from the week before as the course has been designed for one week, Monday to Friday. Wherever you are based and whatever your time zone is, you should be able to join a live course. We are aware that our participants are joining us from all parts of the world, just like you are right now. We have several time slots a day for each course course option. All courses include three hours of training per day, so that's 15 hours per week. So simply choose a time slot that works best for you. Just to give you an idea, the first time slot we have for um, the general English course starts at 6 a.m. UK time and the last time slot end at 9.30 p.m. UK time. Fourth question you may want to ask, considering your budget and value of training. Again, so many options for you to choose from. So I'm actually quite happy that you chose to attend this live stream with us now. Comparing one course with another can seem like comparing apples and pears. What we, re what we would recommend is simply ask, what is included in the price? How many hours of teaching do you get? How are they live courses or recorded videos? Who are the trainers? How much teaching experience do they have? You should be able to get a clear answer to those questions. Now, this may sound like details, but start by asking how many hours you are getting in your course. This is an insider tip, so bear with me, and I hope this, hope, uh, this will be useful. Most online schools will count in lessons. Each lesson would last 45 to 15 minutes each, which is quite standard in our industry. What we offer instead are full hours. So one lesson is 60 minutes or what we call a full hour. So let's take an example. Some other school would offer a 15 hour course. What you would actually get is 15 lessons of 45 minutes each. In total, you would only get 11 hours and 15 minutes. We um, are actually more straightforward with our offer. When you book a 15 hour course, well, you will have a course that will last for 15 full hours. It's just as simple as that. Now let's take our general English virtual group course as an example. For 295 pounds per week, you would get 15 full hours of live training with one of our experienced trainers, course materials, an end of course report, a certificate of completion and unlimited access to your personal online course until the end of the year. Another tip, if you are currently employed, it may be worth checking with your manager or HR department whether your training can be sponsored by the company. We have 
many participants who are testing our courses before we work with their company on a larger scale. So it's definitely worth asking your employer. Now, fifth question, should it be face-to-face, -face, virtual groups, or self-study? Face-to-face training is ideal if you want full immersion, either through group or private lessons, and you can travel and stay in the UK. This option is unfortunately not available at the moment due to the current health situation, but when the situation allows us to safely reopen, we will definitely let you know. Virtual groups are the next best thing, but only if you can make sure virtual means live interactive courses with a real trainer. We are lucky and proud to have the best team of trainers to deliver our virtual courses, where you will also meet participants from around the world. Online courses are also a good option if you are disciplined enough to study by yourself and do so on a regular basis. We are also very proud to have our own courses, our own online courses platform, so you can be sure that the online courses we offer are well adapted to the real needs of English language learners. If you are considering online courses only, we think it's a good idea to add a few private lessons this way, you will get the feedback and support of a private trainer and also make sure that you're practicing regularly. I hope this has been uh, useful. Um, again, please feel free to ask your questions and uh, my colleague Faiza will take over now. Faiza. Perfect. Thanks so much, Porine. Um, That's great uh, for those tips as well. Um, Personally, I find it really helpful if I'm looking to take a course or if I'm looking to buy something to sort of have a checklist because then it helps to make it much easier to decide if you can make that comparison. So we, we hope that's been helpful for you too. Um, this next question is a little bit about kind of looks at the, the fifth point that Porine made of like, you know, what type of course should I be taking? Should it be face to face? Should it be virtual? Should it be online? And um, as, she, as she said, you know, the world has changed quite a lot um, in the last few months. So um, as a result of COVID and travel, you know, virtual may be the only option that, that you'd be able to pursue for the next little while. So this, this section is a lot about sort of how virtual group classes might be the new way forward now. Um, in this world because uh, because of, of different uh, reasons. So I'll, I'll give you a few. Um, so, well, I think we've, we've all sort of realized that uh, this health situation as a result of COVID isn't, isn't quite a short-term issue any, anymore, but it, it's something that's taking a little bit longer. So it's a mid to long-term issue. Um, we're still learning about the virus. Um, there's still a lot of uncertainty, I think, around travel restriction and quarantines and uh, different countries are in different stages. So, you know, some places they might be open to travel, whereas other places it's it's restricted. Um, and I think there's a lot of indication that it, it can take maybe more than a year before um, we can go back to to more extensive travel, so to speak. So because of this, I think virtual training is really a great option because doesn't matter where you are, you can join from anywhere. I think one of the other considerations also is um, that, you know, we've all had to change our habits quite a lot um, in the last few months and, and move so much of our lives virtually. So, you know, before you might have gone into the office to do some work or you might have gone into your place of work, um, whereas now you're doing that remotely. Um, you, before you would meet up with people, whereas now you're, you're scheduling group calls and, and chats and things like that. So obviously many companies um, are, are doing the same. And so they're having their employees work remotely. And one of the things that that means is it's no longer, um, th their employees are no longer limited to where they're located in terms of being able to work at that company. So this is a perfect time for you to sort of be able to progress your international career because it doesn't matter where you are, it's not related to geography. So um, you should take advantage of this time, I think, to, to make progress in your career, to improve your English um, and, 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 and make your kind of improve your skills. Uh, and I think also because everybody can work virtually, it means there's a little bit more competition. Um, so it helps 
if if you're like you know what here's here's I can work on my English I can I can be more confident um, I can speak more clearly and and comfortably um, so it it's a good time to to focus and work on those skills um, you know I've also found that it's it's quite good practice like. Um, if you're joining a virtual class, that's what it will feel like to join a virtual state team meeting, for example. Um, you know, I've suddenly become quite comfortable with using certain platforms that I wasn't using two to three months ago. So again, if, if, if you sign on for our virtual courses, you'll get comfortable on those platforms, which gives you that little competitive edge as well. If you're trying to apply for a job that, you know, can be now anywhere in the world rather than where you were located. And I'd probably say the, the best thing about joining virtual courses is it's very easy. You don't really have to do anything. You're just in the comfort of your own home. So, you know, you can have access to the best trainers in the world. Um, and you don't have to travel. You don't have to get a visa. And you can start anytime. Um, kind of as Pauline said, you know, we have courses that are starting every Monday. Um, and they're delivered straight to your home whenever you're ready. Um, and you have the opportunity to to speak and meet and network and learn with with like-minded people from all over the world um, and that's a wonderful opportunity and that's a wonderful full gift so i think you know in this new time in this new world it's it's great to take advantage of these new ways to learn um, that previously didn't exist and and use it to help you to you know either progress your career or your studies or just you know become a lot more confident and comfortable in in your english um, to finish off, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, overview of the courses. I know that Pauline and I have mentioned it um, throughout the presentation, but you know we've got the general English courses. If you want to improve your core uh, language, I think um, uh, some we've also got uh, business English. So if if you're looking for professional language around meetings, negotiations. Um, presentation skills, you can do that with our profession, business and professional English course. Um, our legal English course is also great uh, if, say, you're a law student or you've just graduated from law or you're a practicing lawyer, it gives you all the specific vocabulary for that industry. If you're planning to study or you need to prepare for an IELTS course, um, then we've got our IELTS group preparation course. And once again, these are all starting every Monday. And then we also have one-to-one -one courses um, on any topic, really. So if there's something specialized that you would want to, to look at, you can do that as well. Um, and as Pauline mentioned, you know, we have every time slot. Um, so we can cover you wherever you are in the world. And uh, we've had students that have joined us from everywhere as well. So I think that wraps up kind of like the main part of the presentation. Yeah. Yeah, uh, thank you so much, uh, Faiza and Perrine, for this uh, very useful and very good tips uh, on how to choose English course well and achieve your goals. And uh, uh, just to say that we uh, thank you for all the comments and uh, all the questions that we've received so far. Uh, do uh, write your questions uh, and comments in the live chat uh, next to the video, because right now is a good time to ask if you've got any questions. And I know that some of them ha uh, have already started coming in. Uh, so, uh, but we also uh, quite frequently uh, get some of the questions that we wanted to uh, to touch upon here as well. But first of all, uh, let's just look at uh, one of the comments from Rosaria Mal uh, Malkangi. Uh, I hope that I'm pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, can you repeat the price for general English, please? So, uh, two hundred and ninety-five pounds for one week. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and as Purian said, that's 15 full hours <laughs> of, of <laughs> training. Uh, you get access to the London School Online platform until the end of the year. Um, you receive an end of course report as well as the certificate as well. Um, and that's again, small group sizes of maximum sort of six people. Great, thank you very much. And uh, we've got, do, please write more of your questions. Uh, of course, you can contact us uh, after the live stream as well. But uh, Faiza, Purin, could you uh, tell us a little bit more about some of the questions that you very frequently uh, get? Yes, definitely. Uh, very happy to. Uh, again, please don't be shy. <laughs> please <laughs> share your questions with us. Um, one of the most frequently asked question, uh, I think we kind of answered this, are the courses recorded videos and webinars or are they live courses? All our courses are live. 
just like this session now. So you can interact with your trainer and other people in your class. We have small groups, so you'll be able to see and discuss with your trainers and your classmates. Um, if you have a technical question, then what I would say is that our methodology is based on com a, a communicative approach. So we have a variety of classroom activities ranging from, um, we have variety of training materials and exercises. Um, we also focus on correction and feedback with the trainer. Um, we always make sure that you get uh, enough practice and consolidate your new skills. So um, if, if you just want to have a look at our sample video on our YouTube channel, you will be able to see how the action takes place. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you. Um, and uh, we've got another question. Um, how is your placement test structured from Juice Page? Yeah, uh, so I think, so we've got an, an online test um, that we would ask you to take. Uh, and basically the, the test is graded at different levels. So depending on what level you are, the questions will adjust. At the end of that, it will give you your overall level. And then that helps us to, when we're trying to determine somebody's level, it's, it's a lot of things to be honest. So it could be the results of the online test. Um, but one of the other things is, is you're asked to complete something called a pre-course questionnaire before you begin your course with us. And there you can tell us a little bit about like why you're planning to study, what your goals are, how confident, for example, you feel about certain areas, like how confident you feel about speaking, um, what do you think about your writing. So it allows you to give us a sense of your thoughts on your language. And then when you sort of answer the questions of like, what are your goals? What would you like to achieve? Um, our trainers will be able to look at that and then also determine what your level is. Um, and I think the the next question actually neatly <laughs> tallies on from this and uh, is, are there different levels? I think there was a question from, from Jan Mattel um, earlier, are there different levels? So basically what would happen is once we've confirmed what your level is, we would place you in different groups. Um, so for, at the moment, for example, we're running different general English groups. Um, some are at a pre-intermediate level, some are at a low intermediate. We have upper intermediate groups or very advanced groups. So depending on what your level is, you'll be placed with other participants of a similar level. Uh, we've got another question from uh, Frank. Hello, Frank. Very nice to see you back uh, in one of our live streams. Uh, so if I want to work with a specific teacher in a group, is it possible? Uh, so a lot like how we had it when you had face-to-face -face courses, your teacher and your classmates will change every week. Um, and, you know, part of that is also a great part of your learning experience um, because basically every teacher will have a different approach. Um, your classmates might have different needs. And, and so will you. So it means that, as Pauline, I think, was saying that um, our courses are, are one week. They're Monday to Friday. And you can either take it for a week or you can take it for several weeks. But you don't miss out on anything if you haven't been there the whole time because every week it changes and every week it adjusts. So um, that's kind of this is also where the expertise of our trainers is so, is so important. They're able to adjust and they're able to adapt. Um, so that every time you, you're able to learn uh, with different groups of people figuring out the content that you need. But also, if you're on the course for a long period of time, there will be handovers from the teachers. So they'll say, like, you know, in this week, this is what you focused on. And so next week, these are some of the things that you can continue to build and grow with another teacher. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Faiza. And then uh, uh, we've uh, touched uh, on this question, but... Um, uh, this is a question from uh, Andrea Ambrosio. In the virtual lessons, have students the possibility to speak with the teacher and with the other students? And uh, Perrine mentioned that, yes, everything that we do is very interactive. Uh, but uh, Pfizer, Perrine, would you like to add something to? Well, well, the virtual lessons, yes, they're all interactive. So as we've, as Pfizer said earlier, we make sure that we're placing you in a group with people of a similar level so that you'll be able to interact uh, with your classmates. Uh, we also make sure that um, during break time, you're still able to have a chat with your uh, classmates. Uh, we also have a network of alumni, which would be, uh, very ha would be very happy if you would be able to join it after you finish your courses with us. So we always make sure that you keep engaged uh, with us and also continue your 
learning by practicing your English as often as possible. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, we do have a question uh, from uh, Jelaja Ilmu, uh, who is saying, I'm Indonesian, I need a friend who wants to be my partner in English. And of course, um, sp spoken English is very important. Um, uh, and uh, what you, what, how we recommended that uh, in some of our previous live streams is that there are different ways how you can um, practice your spoken English, for example, through meetup.com and some other um, some some other platforms but um what's worth mentioning is that we also have opportunities for everybody uh, who took uh, a course with us uh, as our alumni uh, where they connect with uh, can connect with other alumni and uh, and uh, chat with them um yeah. and um another question from rosaria uh um, who is uh saying thank you for answering the first question uh because I can only spend three hours per day, is it possible to buy a course with two hours per week? Yes, I mean, we, we have flexibility. That would be a one-to-one -one course. Um, um, so yeah, we, you know, we have some clients that might not be able to spend the three hours per day, so they will, we'll do it more flexibly. Um, yeah. it, in, I think we, we gave the email address earlier on, but if, if you'd like to follow up, uh, you can email us at inquiries at londonschool.com and we can certainly help you yeah. with that, yeah. yeah. And um, one question from Andrea again, is it possible to focus on one-to-one, uh, -one, uh, uh, to have one-to-one -one lessons uh, related to pharmaceutical uh, studies? Yes. <laughs> um, actually, one of, one of our clients is a, is a big pharmaceutical um, company and, and we've been delivering group courses for their employees in seven countries across Europe for the last three years. So um, yes, our trainers do know quite a little bit um, about the, the, the pharmaceutical sector. So yeah, we can definitely tailor that for you. Yeah. And a question uh, from Miriam, uh, when would the schools be uh, opened? Uh, so I guess uh, what, what's meant here is our centers here in London. I think it's very nice to see you, Miriam. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Of course, she was she was with us a, a few months ago. So, so hello. Um, we're 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 waiting um, to see what what happens. As as we said, kind of in in the the section about sort of virtual groups and um, in this current climate, you know, there are certain places that are opening up and there are others that aren't. And as soon as it's safe for us to do so, we would be more than happy to reopen the centers. Um, if you're connected with us um, through our newsletter, you'll be able to see the announcements there as well. And as these live streams progress, but uh, as soon as we can, we, we would love to welcome everybody back. Um, so we'll, de we'll definitely keep you posted. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, thank you so much for all of the questions. So we've got just a few uh, minutes here to uh, to wrap. Uh, Pfizer, Perrine, do you want to add anything uh, on your? So there's there's one frequently asked question that we do get, and I'm I'm going to ask it. Um, and Perrine, I'm going to ask you that question, and it's it's around course materials. So do you need to buy any course materials if if you're doing any of our virtual classes? No, right, I don't actually. Uh, all courses materials, as we say, we don't work from textbooks. So all of our courses materials is designed by our trainers according to your specific level and your specific needs. And uh, we will provide you with everything when you start your training. The only thing you may need is a notebook and a pencil, uh, just like me, because I'm, I'm quite old school. So that's basically all you need. The rest we will provide you. Uh, we will provide you with. So the way we do that is, um, as Pfizer said, we are checking your level of English and then we're asking you to complete what we call a pre-course questionnaire, which is a personal needs assessment. And once you're finished, we gather um, all of our participants' pre-course pre questionnaires and our trainers work from the imp information provided by you to create the course content. So each course content is customized to the personal needs of the group uh, for yep. that specific week. And then I would also just say in terms of equipment, um, we use a Zoom platform, so it just requires you to download it. And one of the things when you've confirmed your course is um, we send you a guide about how you can join the classrooms, kind of what equipment you need. And then we've also created these helpful sort of how-to guides as well so that you can see like what the how to kind of log on to a Zoom lesson or um, how to use the online platform. So that everything you need for your class, we, we will definitely take care of that um, for you. 
Yeah. Yeah, lots of uh, lots of materials uh, that are included as part of your course. And uh, uh, this is uh, the end of this live stream. Uh, I want to say a huge thank you to Faiza and Perrin for uh, demystifying a lot of the questions uh, that we quite often get. And I hope that this uh, live stream was useful and you enjoyed it. Uh, just a big thank you from all of us. Uh, and. Uh, don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel. Uh, in fact, tomorrow we uh, we are going to have another live stream session, which would be about how to improve your business English with one of our expert trainers, Linda Stott. So uh, this is uh, this will be happening at uh, five thirty uh, p.m. London time, and uh, also uh, look at our resources. Look at the website and. Uh, Contact us if you have any uh, questions. Um, you can contact us uh, at uh, inquiries at londonschool.com. Um, without further ado, uh, we're wishing you a great day wherever you are and uh, stay well, stay safe, and uh, keep learning English. Thank you, Thank you everyone. See you soon, everyone. Bye bye. Take care.